Listening to Live at Nine on TakingOverRadio.com. We have the lovely Janaya in the building. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're doing well. We're doing well. How are you, Mello? Oh, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you go ahead and tell us how long you've been doing music? Well, I've been singing ever since I was a kid, ever since I could make out words. But I've been writing ever since the seventh grade, and that was our first time being in the studio. Okay. And how, how did you get interested? Well, obviously you've been singing, but what got you interested into actually pursuing the career? Um, well, my family on both sides is a very music-oriented family, so I felt like as soon as I heard my voice, like maybe I can do something with it. So then we got into the studio, and I liked it. And ever since then, I've been trying to pursue my music career. That's what's up. What would you say has been the biggest thing for you so far in your career, good or bad? Um, let's see. Getting over my nervousness was a big thing because I was always so nervous to sing in front of people whenever they asked me. And I'm still kind of getting over that, you know, but it's a little easier. And let's see. Writing. Um... I just started, not just started, maybe a couple of years, been like really writing. But when I first started out, I really didn't know how to do it, but I can say I'm beginning to get into a pro <laughs> with writing. Okay. Um, so can we hear some? Yeah. No, like, oh. sing Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I'll sing a little bit of Heartbreaker is a single that I have out right now. See, I'll be honest, babe. When it comes to commitment, I don't put myself up in it Cause I got, I got so much going, babe I just might forget about you With this love, I can't vouch for you Cause baby, I'm not into the tie down I don't need you around, ooh I might hurt your feelings, baby, and ooh You are really cool, but I got stuff to do I hate to break it to you, I'm a heart all right. right. Hey. Well, I mean, <laughs> with that being said, nah, I was going to say we can go into your single, but I don't want to play it yet. I want to talk to you a little bit more than we can play it. All right. So, what's going on with you? What are you working on currently? Um, Right now, we're working on putting out an album, I guess an EP. Um, So, we've been in and out of the studio writing and working on that. Right now, we're about to finish up two songs, and we'll actually be in the studio tomorrow. So, I'm excited about that. Okay, so what is it like for you in the studio? Like, um, let's see. Um, well, I try to get in my element. I try to um, I make faces when I sing. I'm not even gonna lie. I try to, you know, um, get into the moment. But I enjoy the studio. I really do. I love it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, you have anybody you want to shout out or any, you know, producers or um. Mastering. Um, I definitely want to shout out my brother who produces um all my tracks and QZ actually produces some of the tracks too. My brother is Jamari Massey with Jameer Productions and I also want to shout out everybody who's been supporting me. It's been such a good journey. Alright, so what is one of the most memorable events that have happened to you? Um with the with music. Let's see. Um just maybe like being at places with family and somebody just saying, oh, let me hear something. Um, every single time is a memory because I'm like, whoa, I, I hate being put on the spot, but you know, I got to get used to that. So I don't know, just this whole, this whole experience is really good memories. That's like one time that made me remember when I was younger, um, this lady, we were at Marita Bakery and this <laughs> lady, the cashier was like, oh, you do music? Oh, let me hear <laughs> And my mom was like, go ahead, go ahead. God, like, could yeah, you yeah, your parents that? always like to push you. That's my parents as well. Yeah, my dad. My dad likes to brag. <laughs> <laughs> so does my dad, too. My dad likes to brag about everything. Like, like oh, yeah, she doing this, she doing that. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, shout yeah. out to my dad, too. But. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my parents as well. They definitely push me. That's what's up. That's what's up. So we're going to go into your single. I'm going to let you introduce it. And when we come back, we're going to talk to you on a little bit more of a personal note, like, you know, what's going on with Janaya, hobbies, whatever. Okay. So. All right. Well, you guys are about to listen to my single, Heartbreaker. I hope you guys enjoy it. And you heard it first on TakingOverRadio.com. I'm Star Ramsey. DJ Melo. And we'll be back after this. And Charlie. Yeah. What up, what up? I'm Star Ramsey. DJ Melo. And we want to thank you for tuning in to Live at Nine on TakingOverRadio.com. D is out of the building right now, but he will be here shortly. We have Miss Janaya, and that was her single, Heartbreaker. Um, hit us up, 704-323-0768, 704-323-0768. If you want to comment 
or you have any questions. I'm, I don't see why you have questions, but <laughs> <laughs> so we want to get to know Janaya. Um, what is something that people wouldn't expect just looking at you? Um, let's see. Well, I've got a belly like a singer before, but my age. <laughs> yeah. My age, I don't know. Some people think I'm younger than what I am, and then some people think I'm older than what I am. So I'm just like, uh, whatever. <laughs> I thought you were older. <laughs> yeah. Make me feel bad. I mean, that's a good thing and like... a bad thing. You know, I don't mind looking older, but I don't want to be older, older, and then look older than what I am. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> but I'm fine with looking older <laughs> right at now. this age right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that's, a, I don't know. People told me that I look older and I act older for my age. Yeah, I've got that too. I mean, that's a good thing. Always act immature. But yeah, but now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, I feel like a grandma. Like, yeah. I tell my sister all the time, like, we'll take a picture. I'm like, no, I look like a grandma. Oh, gosh. And everybody's like, you're fine. And I'm like, mm-mm. Like, now I'm insecure. So thank you to everybody out there who tell me I look older. And now I feel older. You are old lady. And I'm going 21. Like, <laughs> that's young. That's very young. It is, but I remember when I was ready to turn up because I was turning 18, like... Yeah. <laughs> Time now does I'm turning fly. 21, like, Lord, give me strength. <laughs> but what are some hobbies of yours outside of music? Um, Outside of music, I love to dance. Actually, dancing was the first thing that I liked. Mm, let's see, I started singing first, but dancing is what I wanted to pursue before I thought about making a, um, a music career. Mm -hmm. um, um, Let's see, I Hello, cheer. I cheer at school. Mm. And that's about it. Do praise dance at church. You know, that's about it. Okay. Well, that's what's up. We have a caller, apparently, um, wants to talk to you. Okay. So, what's up, what's up, caller? You're on. Is it Embryasha? Hi, Embryasha. And I'm just wanted to congratulate Janaya. Oh, really thank you so much, Briasha. That's my girl. Like girl. That's my girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we want to thank you for calling and taking over radio. No problem. She's so adorable. She's so sweet. I love me some Briasha. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to DJ Mello, Cuss to Cuss DJ. Shout out. <laughs> That's my boo. I love me some DJ Mello. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, and twos, killing it. <laughs> All right, so, um, I mean, tell us some more about you. Are you, what is one of, like, what is your worst habit? Like, like just uh, totally freaking. Uh, well, I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of, <laughs> I have like this OCD thing where I have to have my radio and everything on 5, 10, 15, 20, like multiples of 5. Volume on the TV, like if we're in the car and your radio is the type of radio that has the numbers, it has to be on that. If not, I will get very aggravated. And yeah, that's a problem. But my family... What if I just keep my radio on zero? And we just well, that's, no, that's, that's fine, but stuff like four when it's like one point away that would that's really annoying for me. But my family, you know, they got used to it, so they automatically put it on there. But it was a point in time when they were like, Janaya, are you serious? <laughs> but you know, I'm weird. Um, let's see, I'm very goofy. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Well, I don't have no OCD like that, but I do. I smell my food before I eat it. Oh yeah. I have to smell my food, like, but not like just like, oh, that smells good. Like, no, every bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Wow, yeah, that's kind of weird. And I'll be at work or I'll be at school or something, and somebody will slide me something just waiting for me to eat, and they'll be like, just waiting for you to and smell like, it. Look. And I'll be like, well, I'm so not gonna eat it now. What's the weirdest thing you ever smelled? <laughs> Chicken gizzards. Chicken gizzards. Wow. I don't even know if I've ever ate that Ooh. before. Chicken gizzards are great. Like, Ooh, wow. <laughs> they nasty. I felt, I felt, honestly, I did. I felt a little ratchet eating them. Or a little yeah. more country. I felt country. Yeah. But they were so good. Like, I was like, oh my God, yes. Like, maybe, maybe I should try it. I'm going to sniff it before I do, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know it. it might. It might need to tear you from it because... Oh, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> no. It doesn't well, smell like Well, I mean, like I it. eat food it's, it's that smells that's still good. It, it doesn't <laughs> smell bad. Like, if you just, if you have your little, you know, tray of gizzards or whatever, it smells good. 
But when you take it, like I took it and broke it and smelled it, like why did you break it? I don't know. Oh my god! It smelled like a wet dog, like oh, and you ate it. Probably tastes like chicken, but yeah, and it's a little chewy. I don't oh know if you like chew. Like I don't eat steak because steak is too steak chewy. Steak is for me. delicious. It's very tough though, depending on the kind of steak. It, it makes me mad. Like when I'm sitting here, like yeah, like, I'm ready to get to my next piece. <laughs> right. Like, I'm right. still stuck on this first piece. Like no, it makes me mad. Yeah. And then I get tired of eating it before it's time to. Finish <laughs> so no, I'm good. I don't like steak. Um, what else? Do you have any dislikes? Um, let's see. I have a lot of dislikes actually. Um, I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm a very picky person, especially when it comes to food. I'm very picky when it comes to food. Um, I'm pretty sure we all dislike Two Faced people. I yeah, really, really dislike that. And when it comes to music, um, like I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my stuff. Like um, I'll do a note and I'll be like, nah, 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 that don't sound right. Or QZ would be like, yeah, it sounds right, and then I'm like, nah, it don't sound right. Something else got to be better. So I don't know. Let's see, what else do I dislike? Hmm. I, di I dislike being rushed. I'm the type of person I have to take my time. Like, don't wake me up or don't tell me to go somewhere and then give me, like, a short amount of time. Like, it takes me a... a it takes me... <laughs> that, made me <laughs> that made me so mad. Like, especially if I'm doing you a favor, like, take Yeah. Me. Oh, no, don't rush me. Right. Like, Let me take my time. It yes. takes time. I ha so I dislike that. Um, let's see. Hmm... That's that's about it. That's about it. That's all I can think of right now. Let's see. What don't I like? Mm. I don't like a lot. Like my sisters tell me, I think a lot of stuff is rude. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but sometimes I don't I care. Mean, call like, it, yeah, call it like you said. If I think it's rude, if I'm offended by it, it's rude. Like yeah, maybe you didn't mean to offend me. Then you right. should apologize. Okay. Or else that's rude too. But like for the most part. I think anything is rude. We have another caller on the line. Caller, what's up? Who are we talking to? Hey, I'm talking to Denia's aunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm her biggest fan. She already knows that, uh, um, you know, I've been there from day one. I've been, you know, promoting and trying to, you know, help her and gather her. She's a wonderful singer. She's a beautiful girl inside and out. And what I want everybody to know out there is she go hard. You know, we're very family oriented, and I just love her. She's just oh, wonderful. love you too, Auntie. <laughs> She's so wonderful. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for calling up here, and thank you for listening and taking over radio. No problem, no problem. And tell me, she keeping it real. Tell her to keep it gangster. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. She done said, Keep it G. <laughs> she done said straight up in her chair like, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. I just you a little bit more. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. I love oh, my family so much. They do They do support me and everything, and I really do appreciate that. That's I great. Because there are artists that we get, you know, that they're doing it by themselves. Like, yeah. And that, that has to be hard. Right. I mean, when you have that support, it just makes you want to sing and do everything, you know, just as much more than what you're doing. So Yeah, because really even good. with the support, sometimes you get to a point where it's like, uh, I'm tired of this. Like, yeah. Like, you feel like, is this even worth it? Or, like, or am I wasting my time? Like, should I be mm -hmm. focusing on something else? And then you don't want to have a backup plan because you don't want to doubt yourself. Like, it's not going to work. Yeah. So you feel bad for having a backup plan. But right. then... <laughs> You would feel stupid if you didn't. Right. So it's like, God, like, well, I don't know. So I'm, I mean, there's plenty of times where I had to talk to my dad or my sister, or even QZ. If y'all don't know, me and Denai go to the same producer. Um, shout out QZ to music. Shout Denai. out QZ. But sometimes I'll talk to QZ and I'm like, man, QZ, I've been doing this for so long, and he'd be like, if you don't, if you stop, it's gonna haunt you. And yeah. He'd be like, you ain't gonna be able to stop. And I'd be like. That's true, because I'll say to myself, you know, oh, I'm going to focus on my college. I'm going to focus on, you know, this. No, it don't yeah. matter. I don't know. I guess some. it's just something about music, because music is it's easy, but it's hard. Like, right. But it's it's so easy. Like, when you're writing a song, performing, like all the fun part, it's so easy. But then the hard part is, like, those long hours, yeah, promoting. Yeah, you definitely have to put in work. 
Right. You got the squad, right, yo. Yeah. Our family is booming today. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up? You're on Taking Over Radio. Hey, Claudia, <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> My little brother. Hey, Claudia. Hey. <laughs> supports her like yeah, that was do. the I love so much <laughs> I don't let me calm myself <laughs> <laughs> I really got scared <laughs> okay so what I don't know like what are some things that you do obviously you know you sing you know but what do you do like for fun like what um well I definitely like hanging out with my friends um Let's see, what do I like to do for fun? I like to dance in my free time. I don't care where I am. If I hear a song, then I'ma just I'ma just get down. I really don't care. Um let's see, it's always fun being around my family. My family is such a crazy family and I love them so much for that. Like it's never a dull moment. Um That's a, that's about it. That's about it. I just love being surrounded by the people that I love. I have such a good time. Okay, well that's what's up. Um, why don't you go ahead and shout out your contact information, booking information if they differ. And we're going to get into your second song, then we'll be back. Alright, well for business inquires, you can um, contact me at Jameer Productions. Jameer, J-A-M-E-R-E, -E, productions at yahoo.com. And you can hit me up on Instagram at Janaya Tashe, J-A-N-I-A-H-T-A-S-H-A-E. Um, you can hit me up on Twitter as well at underscore underscore Janiah. Alright, and that's it. Alright, well, okay, well we have one more caller. Okay. And then we're going to go to a break. Okay. What's up, what's up? You on Taking Over Radio. Uh, hey, John. Hey. <laughs> you know who this is? Yes, this is Trey. Hey, Trey. Hey, uh, I just wanted to call and say, uh, I'll tell you this on the radio, and, uh, <laughs> congratulations, and everybody go get her music and stuff. <laughs> 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 All right, well, bye. All right. Thank you. Thanks, cousin. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go into your second single. We're going to let you introduce it, and we'll be back after that. All right, well, you guys are about to hear Give Me the Floor, and a producer, QZ, my producer, is featured on this track. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I'm Star Ramsey. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 